Kosmonivet Yuri Gagarin was a Soviet space control monitoring ship or vigil ship that was devoted to detecting and receiving satellite communications. Named after cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, the ship was completed in December 1971 to support the Soviet space program. The ship also conducted upper atmosphere and outer space research. It had very distinguishable looks due to two extremely large and two smaller parabolic dish antennas placed on top of the hull. In 1986, Kosmonivet Yuri Gagarin was the world's largest communications ship and was the flagship of a fleet of communications ships. These ships greatly extended the tracking range when the orbits of cosmonauts and unmanned missions were not over the USSR. In 1975, the ship was a part of the Soviet-American Apollo-Soyuz joint test program. The communications ships belonged to the Soviet Academy of Sciences. The maritime part fell under the responsibility of the Baltic and Black Sea shipping. The ships had home ports in Ukraine, so after the fall of the Soviet Union they were transferred to Ukraine, ending their role in spaceflight. The ship was sold for scrap shortly after the breakup of the Soviet Union along with academic Sergei Korolev. The extraordinary vessel's irregular looks are the primary thing that stuck out, because of the number of satellite dishes. The boat conveyed a whole radio specialized room and estimation complex, the photon, for checking on shuttle missions. The gear permitted working with up to two shuttles all the while, passing along arrangements, changing direction and keeping contact with the cosmonauts, utilizing phone and broadcast. The ship was additionally in consistent correspondence with the Mission Control Center in Korolev. Besides simple flight control, the Kosmonivet Yuri Gagarin was additionally fit for looking for missing shuttle and directing sea-based rescue of cosmonauts. The vessel facilitated a sum of 75 antennae and satellite dishes of differing size and reason. Two of them, introduced at the nose of the extension, used to be 12 meters in breadth and weighed 180 tons each. The other two were much greater and all the more remarkable, with each estimating 25 meters in measurement and tipping the scales at an amazing 240 tons each. The gigantic amount and explicit area of the antennae made certain issues to do with the boat's navigational limit and required one-of-a-kind and helpful arrangements. The greatest issue was in guaranteeing the boat's security, its ability to withstand outside powers and the capacity to get back to a condition of balance once these powers died down. Colossal satellite dishes, with their electrical backings and establishments, didn't simply gauge tons, they all must be set basically advantageous spots for guaranteeing a protected and stable route. The heaviest components transcended high over the deck, while by correlation, the exceptionally light electrical and navigational gear was completely situated underneath deck. An extra issue was the cruising quality, added by the sheer size of the satellite dishes, at whatever point they should have been turned on their side when association was being set up. To keep away from the danger of breakage, or the boat just overturning, correspondence meetings were never performed during solid breezes. Gyroscopic instruments on board the boat would report its area and any side and fall throw down to only a couple arc minutes. This prompted the requirement for further developing the boat's mobility even in positive climate conditions and at lower speeds. To settle that assignment, extraordinary interior directing gadgets were introduced as two winged movers in the nose and at the toward the back. Such a development facilitated controlling at lower speeds, during floats and docking by making up for the strength of the tide during correspondence. The undertakings set before a coasting space mission control focus surmise a serious level of self-governance, given the vessel's close to steady area out adrift, away from fuel and arrangements. Fuel saves straightforwardly influence the scope of continuous travel. This was a critical factor for explicit errands that must be acted in specific areas, frequently many miles from the nearest port. The Gagarin had a range of 20,000 nautical miles. For correlation, the reach on the hefty plane carrying warship, Naval Commander Kuznetsov, is just 13,546 kilometers. Regardless of its novel attributes, the acclaimed transport met a dismal end. After the separation of the Soviet Union, the vessel, recently enrolled in Odessa, disregarded under the control of the now autonomous Ukraine and its Ministry of Defense. The boat's new proprietors didn't hold onto Russian-sized space aspirations and had no space apparatus or cosmodrome of their own.